name is Josie Jeniskins. I work for the Water Replenishment District, or WRD, and I'm a GIS analyst. GIS is Geographic Information Systems. It's a software program that takes geographic and spatially referenced data. So it takes data that is specific to one spot. For instance, this building. This building is located in, at one spot. And then it takes layers of like data. So for instance, address points, streets, parcels, buildings, layers of soil types, and it sort of overlays those layers on top of one another. And then you can use that to compare and analyze them and how they affect one another. Most of my day is spent at the office. I rarely go out, but I will be meeting with people who need something from me and then working on that project for them. I also attend meetings and work on my own projects like our online mapping tool. I work for all of the departments at our agency except for maybe finance, so th that's constant. I rarely do projects for within my own department. We are a service department, so we work for every department in the agency. GIS has several different uh, professional organizations. One of them is URISA, which is Urban and Regional Information Systems Association. You can also join the Cal GIS, and those are more formal organizations. There's also more local networking organizations, like in Southern California, there's SoCal GIS. And a lot of specific industries will have associations within their field for GIS people. And then taking advantage of, uh, for instance, the Esri network. Esri is a company that makes the software that we use. It's one of the leading software companies for GIS. It's free to join their network not necessarily free to use the software, but to join the network. And that's important because you get to meet people in your field. And that's one of the best ways to help you find employment. For me, I came to GIS uh, as a second career. I was in retail for 20 years and then decided I wanted to change. So I had to think about what I liked. I've always liked geography, I like traveling, um, I like physical geography, and I also have a creative side, so I wanted to do something a little bit creative, maybe a little artistic. So I found GIS, and it allows me to combine my love of geography and the artistic side. We, I get to make maps, and also I discovered I really liked analysis. So I went back to school, uh, went to a post-baccalaureate program at Cal State Long Beach, and then got internships, and then moved on to a full-time job. You can use GIS in almost every industry. It's definitely used a lot in the sciences, in geology, hydrogeology, biology, um, meteorology, which is forecasting the weather. They use it in, to map the ocean floors, things like that. It can also be used in more social sciences, such as applying it to demographics. The census department uses a lot of GIS in making the maps that they prepare. Real estate uses it extensively. It can be used to help retail stores determine where to locate new facilities. The airline industry uses it. It's really used everywhere. The job that I have doesn't specifically change, but the software changes and the ability to do new things with the software changes, so I constantly have to update my skills by taking classes or attending conferences and training seminars. In a normal year, I would take probably three to four formal classes, probably six 
self-taught classes or self-learning, you know, where it's an online class and I do it at my own speed, and then two to three conferences. GIS is one of those fields where having a broad knowledge is helpful. I find that having some science education has been helpful. Um, math, specifically statistics, is important because you're doing analysis and you want to understand different types of statistical analysis to help you with your work. So, as with any professional career, having good reading and writing skills is really important because you're preparing maps and you're making this map, for instance, for somebody else to look at. So often you're working with them to make sure that the verbiage on it makes sense. Having a basic technological knowledge is really important because this is a software program and you are using a computer. Sometimes something happens and you have to troubleshoot that. So having a technological basis is really important. Having some business knowledge would also be beneficial. For instance, if you're in the real estate business and you're providing GIS product for the real estate industry, you want to understand a little bit about real estate as well, that's a business, so that you can um, apply the right analysis or parameters to the product that you're creating. To me it is exciting. I'm not out in the field or traveling a lot, but I get to work with a lot of different people who do different things. So in our agency I get to work with hydrogeologists, I get to work with external affairs, I get to work with the water resource management people, I get to work with the engineers. So in turn they work with a lot of different agencies. We work with state agencies, federal agencies, county agencies, so I get exposure to a lot of different things and I, that's exciting to me.